the Oklahoma Newsroom, this is a Thunder Update. I'm Jenny Carlson. Our five-part series on Billy Donovan continues to roll along. Part two was this past Sunday in the Oklahoman and on News OK, so be sure to check that out. But part three will be coming up this next Sunday, and Anthony Slater will be authoring that. He joins us on the phone. And Anthony, uh, it's been interesting to this point to read about Billy Donovan's early years, his playing years, uh, you know, really getting into the game of basketball. But in part three, you're going to launch into him as a young adult, a young professional, a young coach. But his professional life didn't start off coaching. It started off in something totally different, right? Yeah, Wall Street, uh, which, you know, a lot of people uh, from his area, Rockville Center, Long Island, the New York area, apparently a lot of people did. And he just kind of, once he was done with basketball, that was kind of the logical next step. And because he had the, the big name, as far as, remember, I mean, he's a Providence legend. He had that Final Four run. Uh, you know, he signed on on Wall Street because a, uh, a broker thought it would be, you know, it would be wise to bring him in. He, he could maybe sell some stocks and some Providence grads, things like that. So he did that for a little while. Um, and obviously it's something that, you know, didn't interest him as much as uh, basketball did. And, yeah, like you said, he got into coaching, and that's where his story, I guess, you'd have to say, really takes off. Well, I don't want you to give too much away, but talk a little bit about the transition from Wall Street to coaching because uh, it's, it's not an obvious change, except obviously Billy Donovan is a, a basketball guy. So um, maybe, maybe coaching was always the way he was supposed to go. The transition, talk a little bit about that. How did he, how did he make it? I think and just a lot of it with, you know, with, uh, uh, you know, a lot of factors in his life have to do with Rick Pitino, who coached him at Providence, who had him in the NBA. And the fact that, you know, Billy's working – at Wall Street while Rick Pitino's coach in the New York Knicks. He used to go down to the game, talk to Rick Pitino after the game, and Rick Pitino let him know one day, hey, I'm leaving the Knicks, I'm going to Kentucky, you can come along if you're interested, you could only be a grad assistant, but if you come and really work, you know, work your tail off, you can maybe make a, a profession of this, and, you know, uh, thinking news, he worked pretty hard, and, you know, he's where he is today. Well, who knows how he would have done if he would have stayed on Wall Street, but I think we can safely say he's been a big success as a coach. Part three coming this Sunday on Billy Donovan. Be sure to stay with the best coverage team anywhere at newsok.com and every day in the Oklahoman.